Hi, it's Nell, and today I'm going to show you how I clean my house plants and also tell you why I clean them. So stick around for that. So if you like videos about gardening both indoors and out, be sure and hit the subscribe button because I upload videos on a regular basis and there's also plenty for you to go and check out that are in the archives. It is a lovely January day, and the bougainvillea is a little bit in its funky winter state, but it does have some color on it, so I just wanted to uh, share that with you. But back to the house plants. So the first reason that I clean house plants is they oftentimes come with junk on them from the growers, the greenhouses. They get sprayed with pesticides there because there's a lot of plants in the greenhouses. There's condensation, stuff drips down on them. So you might have noticed like white or gray spots on your plants. And that is one reason to clean them. And actually that's the reason I'm gonna be cleaning my Dracaena Lisa very soon that I'm going to share with you. Another reason would be to get the dirt off. The dirt and the dust, especially if it's built up heavy because plants need to breathe. They breathe through their leaves, both on the top and the bottom. So you want to keep your, the, the leaves of your plants as clean as possible. Third is to get the residue from pests off the plants. If your plant has had an infestation of say aphids, mealybug, something like that, it's going to leave behind a sticky residue. And there might also be some eggs left behind. So that's another good reason to clean the plant. And the fourth reason would be it just looks good. I know I like to look at plants with clean leaves and I feel if they're breathing better and they're nice and clean they just uh, make me happy and the plants are happy. So there are a few ways I clean my plants. The first one is pretty simple it's just with a duster and I just dust off the leaves a lot like that I give them a nice you know little going over and that works if there's just like a little bit of surface dust on the leaves that will get them off and the second is by taking plants to the sink or the shower and actually spraying them I do that with my small house plants I do it every other time I water them I have a deep kitchen sink with a nice spray on it so I take them and spray them I'll put a few in the sink spray them I'll leave them in there for about an hour I also do that to up the humidity factor a little bit because I live in the desert I just feel that that makes them feel a little bit better to have some moisture with our dry dry air here but that keeps my smaller plants nice and clean so for the other two ways I clean my house plants, I'm just going to show you. This is my Dracaena Lisa. You can see this is, there's spots, there's dust here. I'll run my finger there. And I've been meaning to clean this for a long time, but it sits in a little bit darker area in my bedroom. And I just, you know, <laughs> I've just been ignoring it. And I was going to clean it. I thought, oh, it's a good thing to share with you all. So when I'm cleaning with a cloth, um, I use white vi vinegar, water, of course, and a very mild, uh, eco-friendly dish soap. It's plant-based. And the approximate uh, ratio I use is I use like about a half a gallon of water to half a cup to three quarters of a cup of the white vinegar. And then I'll put in like five or six drops of the dish soap. So I just sort of eyeball it because everything is um, on the mild side and here goes the dish soap. And that is all I use. And then I put in the cloth to get good and soaked. And next comes the cleaning. So this is, this is easy. It's a, it just takes a little while, especially on a plant like this. i um, going to mix the mixture up good over here, get it good and soaked. And then this is all I do. I just go by individual leaf and just give it a good 
a good cleaning off. And it's not something I do on a regular basis because the plant may not need it. I do it on an as needed basis. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna get the plant cleaned up and then I will show you how it looks afterwards because there's no need for you to watch me clean the whole plant. So I'll, I'll be back with you soon. So here's Lisa all cleaned up. I probably missed a, a leaf or two that happens because <laughs> there's so many on it. But another way that you can do this is you can put the mixture into a spray bottle. This one doesn't have a lot of power oomph to it. It's what I use to spray my air plants. <laughs> but you can spray each leaf really, really well and just hope it drips off. I've done that with ficus benjaminas before the weeping fig because they're hard to clean with a cloth. But um, that that works too. Or, or you can spray and then just follow it up with the cloth. And I don't bother to dry off the leaves. I just let them dry naturally. Um, and that has always worked just fine for me. And before I move on to uh, cleaning a couple of smaller plants, I just uh, wanna point out the brown tips on the Dracaenas. Um, that is in reaction to the dry air. They are notorious for brown tips, especially like the, the Dracaena marginata, those of you who have Dracaena marginatas. And if you get brown, brown spots or brown, you know, that's not really brown tips, but uh, if you get brown way up, that's a watering issue. But the tips is the dry air. So here are two of my smaller plants, obviously. This is Philodendron Imperial Red, and this is a little rubber plant. I believe it is burgundy, but there is some junk on, on the leaves so i have mixed up some new fresh mixture in here i'm going to shake it up really well and i just spray the leaves really 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 well get them good and saturated and then i'm just going to go over them with the cloth because these aren't that big so it's not going to take me that long to run the cloth over these all right so i saturated the leaves and that's all I'm gonna do is just give them a going over to get some of the spots off of them and with the rubber plant I just it's just very very loosey-goosey but you can see how um, this plant doesn't have any brown tips and my bigger rubber plant doesn't have any brown tips either but those are those old those old dracaenas boy they tip like crazy all right i'm just gonna finish this off and then i'll, I'll be right back with you and there's one thing that i forgot to mention as i'm spraying off a few of my other plants um the smaller ones i take into the kitchen sink and i spray them with water after spraying them with this mixture just to give them an extra hose off Oh, and by the way, all this will be in, in the blog post for you also. The link will be down below and also on my website, joyousgarden.com. So the first don't is don't use commercial plant cl cleaners like a plant shine because they have things in them to make the plant shiny that clog the pores and you don't want to clog the pores of the leaves because as I said you want them to breathe and a second thing would be don't put your plant out in the hot sun to dry after you have cleaned it because it could cause it to burn and the third thing is check and see if the plant that you want to clean can be sprayed some plants aren't crazy about spraying like for instance ones with you know fuzzy leaves African violets 
So just check and make sure. Most plants can be cleaned, so it's okay, but uh, you might wanna give it, give it a little research and see if the plant you're interested in cleaning can take the spring. That is it, that is all I do. Nothing fancy, no big secret, it's easy. I've cleaned plants th this way for a long, long time. And uh, as I said, your uh, plants will be happy if you give them a good clean. Oh, and I just picked these th this morning. That is one of the advantages of living in a warmer climate. You get citrus fruit in the wintertime. And I also have my Italian parsley growing behind me, which I love. And surprisingly, it can tolerate what's the coldest it's been so far this year in the evening. It's probably been like 29 degrees. Doing just fine, has plenty of new growth coming too. So I hope you have found this video about cleaning house plants to be helpful. I have more videos coming your way, so stay tuned for those. As always, I thank you for your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate them. Now let's get out in the garden or into our indoor gardens and make our worlds a more beautiful place. I thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.